I told you one man escaped from Dublin Castle. He was around this size that he actually came out. And his name was Red Hugh O'Donnell, the son of O'Donnell himself, the chieftain of Donegal, and a great rebel against the English crown. Well, the British said, look, this O'Donnell is causing us a lot of trouble, and we're, we're going to have to do something about control. So they had a sneaky idea of going down and hopped through the trouble in the middle of the night. Brought him back, stuck him in Dublin, Dublin, Dublin Castle, that was in 1587, and said, no, O'Donnell, you'll obey us. You know what he said then? Well, I know I will. And he didn't obey them anyway, he was a bit of a rebel. Oh yeah, by the way, don't step on this. See this here, that's the back door down to Dublin, down to the River of Hobble, which runs right through here to the, to the Black Pool, where Dublin was actually formed, where, right on the other side of the castle. And uh, anyway, last year some Japanese tourists stood on that and they fell down and all we could see was the flash of their cameras as they went and zooming down and down into the river Dippy. That's what I think it was. Anyway, gotta be careful. Well, after three years of terrible conditions in the prison, I mean the prison, prison conditions were terrible. Where are you, Tony? Have you ever been to prison? Would you like?